Hey church family, I'm glad to be with you today. Today I want to share with y'all a portion of one of my favorite kids books and it's called The Garden and the Curtain and the Cross and it's by a woman named Catalina Averci. <laughs> Sorry, I about butchering that name. Um, but it's about how the whole Old Testament and the whole New Testament all point towards Jesus. And obviously Jesus is a part of the New Testament. Um, but to me today, it brings me so much hope knowing that all of God's plan is revealed in Scripture. And everything he promised in the Old Testament points towards Jesus. And so today, um, on the days that I need hope and reminder of God's assurance and plan for me and plan for um, all believers, um, I like to read things that show that God fulfills everything he says he will. And so today, I want to read a portion of this book, um, and it's right after the crucifixion of Jesus, um, and this is what she says. She says, after Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb, and they were very sad. For two days, nothing happened. Then, the next morning, Jesus' friends went to see his body in the tomb, and it wasn't there. A little later on, Jesus' friends were all together, and suddenly Jesus was there, alive. Suddenly, his friends weren't sad. Now they were so, so happy. God had brought Jesus back to life so that he could live in God's wonderful place forever. And Jesus has sent everyone an invitation to come and live with him there too. He tells us, God says it is wonderful to live with him. Because of your sin, you cannot come in. But I died on the cross to take your sin. So all of my friends can now come in. We can live with God forever. There will be nothing bad and no one sad. We will see God and speak to God. and Just enjoy being with God just as he planned. It will be wonderful to live with him. And it's all because of Jesus. We will say every day, Thank you, Jesus. You are amazing. And you can start by saying that today. And so even though um, that's a challenge to kids by telling God that you love him, that he's amazing every day, you can start by just saying that today. Say that um, as you're you know, washing the dishes. Say that as you're folding laundry. Say that as you are sitting on the couch waiting <laughs> to be told that you can leave your home. Tell him that you trust him and you love him and because of scripture, because of what scripture says, we know and we can be confident to know that everything that God has promised, he will fulfill. And so today, I hope that brings you hope. It sure brings me hope to know that um, we won't be waiting forever. We won't be waiting to um, be out of the house <laughs> forever, but also we won't be waiting on Jesus to come back forever. Um, that everything that God promises to us is going to happen. And so I'm excited for that day. I'm excited for um, no more quarantine, but I'm also just hopeful and so excited for Jesus to come back and for um, me to see him face to face. So hope that encourages y'all today. I love you guys and miss you. See ya.